<laughs> oh man. Anyway, um, what's up, y'all? This is your boy, C.J. Robertson Jr. Once again, coming at y'all with another iconic video. With that being said, let's get started. This one is a little different from professional wrestling, but I will add his wrestling career to it, to the story. John Cena has built such a great legacy for himself within the pro wrestling industry. He's dedicated himself to WWE and Vince McMahon for years. His first match, I spoke about this yesterday in one of my other videos, his first actual match on SmackDown Live TV <clears throat> was uh, against Kurt Angle. Gave Kurt Angle a ruthless aggression <laughs> in the beginning of that match. This man done had many matches. He done had great iconic matches. From Dolph Ziggler, Shawn Michaels, Kane, Undertaker, Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, Dean Ambrose, uh, the Nexus group. You know what I'm saying? Wade Barrett, uh, David Otonga, CM Punk. Just to name a few, man, Triple H, you know what I'm saying? Batista was probably one of the most iconic matches, devastating, iconic, in the good way matches that John Cena has, y'all, has had, excuse me. I mean, Batista at one point was in his feelings. I don't know what his ordeal, oh, well, technically, yeah, shout out to Dave Batista, by the way, but I know what his ordeal was, I know why he was pissed off with John Cena, because John Cena was the company man, Edge called John Cena the company man, so, and there, yeah, him and Edge had great matches too, and on top of that, Batista called him the company man, because technically John Cena is still to this day the company man, ladies and gentlemen, John Cena is now a Hollywood actor. He's not a blockbuster star yet like Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Oh, don't get me started on Dwayne The Rock Johnson versus John Cena part one, two, and I think three. Them two went at it toe to toe. Both of them had great promos, but John Cena just couldn't. And John Cena is one of the greatest mic talkers in the history of the company. But with all due respect to the uh, Dr. Thugonomics, ladies and gentlemen. He could not and will not and will not ever be able to beat or defeat Dwayne The Rock Johnson on the mic. Because let's face it, The Rock has the most powerful, most electrifying voice on the microphone in all of WWE. But don't take it the wrong way because John Cena's skills on the mic is and was perfection. His Peacemaker TV series, DCEU Films. Great episodes. I watched it. I loved it. It was great. I think John Cena is definitely going to be the next Dwayne Johnson in Hollywood. It takes time, yes. Batista stated in an article late last year ago that I read on that he does not choose or nor want to do any feature films with John Cena or the Rock. I don't really know what his ordeal and beef is with The Rock, but I know why he said that about not wanting to do a movie with uh, John Cena, because they beef was uh, pretty standard, and they beef in WWE for the championship title became way too real and way off the script. Batista just got fed up with the BS. And he decided to take things to a whole new level. He he actually went broke when he left WWE. He talk, spoke about it on his uh, on a uh, talk radio show or some shit. I know he was being interviewed, and he spoke about how he um, went broke for you no know, mishandling his financial situation when he was making big money during his Evolution day. Guardians of the Galaxy through Marvel Studios saved his life. 
saved his life and his financial life and his career. That's words that that is words that came out of Batista's mouth. Since then, Batista's been on the road. He's been uh, doing much better with his money. He's not, he's managing his money more properly at this point of his career in Hollywood. I think Batista should team up with at least Dwayne Johnson to do a movie. Them two would they hey, can y'all picture it? Them two doing a cop buddy movie. I can't see John Cena doing a cop buddy movie with Dave Batista. I mean John Cena stated in an interview on his own that he salutes Dave Batista's career and he 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 watches Dave's movies. No. So yes, um John Cena has had one of the most memorial, iconic, legendary runs in recent WWE time and recent history. Yes, facts. I didn't like him as much in the ring like I did slash do as an actor. But John Cena had some great freaking matches. Peacemaker, y'all check the Peacemaker out, man. It's a good move. It's a good TV series. It's great, man. They're gonna be uh, shooting new episodes every week, I believe. John Cena has been doing such a wonderful job as an actor, starting with his first film, The Marine, through WWE Studios back in 2006, ladies and gentlemen. That was the mark of a new Hollywood era for that man. And. No, from there, the same guy who played the, the bad guy on the Marine is now playing his dad on the Peacemaker, a.k.a. Patrick, uh, damn, I forgot his name, but he, everybody knows him from the Terminator, right? The liquid, the liquid cyborg. So, yeah, he plays his father on the Peacemaker. I'm not going to give nothing else away. I don't want to dis- uh, destroy hopes and dreams, but I will let you know that... The Peacemaker with John Cena is hilariously funny as hell. Plenty of action. Plenty of comedy. Less drama. But at the end of the day, John Cena has paid the way and built a huge, huge legacy for himself. So I, I respect, I fully respect and salute John Cena to the highest degree. Just like I do with Dave Batista and Dwayne The Rock Johnson. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, drop your comments below. Let me know what y'all thoughts are and what y'all favorite matches of John Cena was during his time in WWE. Feel free to drop your comments below. Smash that like button. If you ain't subscribed to my channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button and that notification bell button for more video content. Stay tuned. More videos to come. Y'all have a blessed day. And shout out to Moments with the Diva. I love that woman. I swear I love that woman. We and her have to do something together soon. We have to, we're going to have to uh, do a video together soon. But um, pr- I appreciate all the support other than that. I appreciate all the support. Shout out to the UK. To my UK uh, supporters as well. You know what I'm saying? Can't forget them. i never forget them. So with that being said, man. Y'all take it easy. And I'll be back with more video content. With that being said, knowledge is power, which most just lacks very bad. CJ, signing out. Salute to John Cena, by the way. Big salute.